What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, my name is Noah Cavanaugh and I'm a professional soccer player. Today I have a super special boot review for you guys. It's probably going to be my all-time favorite boot to review on this channel and that is because this boot is 11 years old. As of September of 2021, it will be officially 11 years old. So right now it's about 10 and a half years old and I am talking about the CTR360 Maestri Elite in the blue, sapphire, white, and black colorway. I managed to get my hands on a pair thanks to Classics Collection from England, and I wanna tell you guys a little bit about Classics Collection because I think it is a fantastic, uh, fantastic guy who started this program, and he gets boots to Premier League players and the like, um, and of course was able to get these for me. And this is a pair of boots that I have wanted for uh, literally since they came out, I am so beyond excited to review this pair of boots. I actually had the white and yellow version of these, but I could never get my hands on a pair of the blue ones. So without further ado, let's hop into a little bit of a overview of what Classics Collection is, um, who he is, and what they do for players who want older boots. All right, guys, so here is the logo. I'll put it up on screen so that's what that looks like hopefully that's focusing for you guys there you go there so hopefully you can see that i will put the link in to the instagram page and the website down in the description box below by the way this is not a sponsored video i actually paid for these boots um, but i wanted to give a shout out to william who was super gracious about the whole process um, gave me you know obviously price up front was really uh, upfront about it and then also had super quick shipping so i ordered these about three or four days before moving back to the united states i am back in the u.s now and the boots were here when i got here so from england to the united states um, it was fantastic shipping so will amos who i've got his card right here um, is a 17 year old collector who's got a ton ton of different professional players who he sources boots for. Um, he's got a shop on his website that I'll put down in the description box below. And then of course he's got an Instagram page and that's actually where I found these. I'd been looking around at some different collectors and he was one of the big ones, especially in the European area. And a lot of these retro boots come from the European area. So basically what I did was I said it popped up on his story. They were in my size and I jumped on it really quick, replied to the story and said, hey, can I get these? I'm really keen on them. And he's like, yep, they're still available. And the transaction happened in about five minutes and the boots arrived on my doorstep the next day. So that is a uh, sort of an overview of classics. He's super passionate. I've spoken to him once or twice over just Instagram Messenger. And uh, yeah, just super excited to see where he goes with this stuff. I'll definitely be purchasing some boots off of him um, at some point in the future, especially if he can source boots that are this incredible and brand new. So without further ado, guys, let's hop into the review of the CTR 360 Maestri Elite. Okay, so here we go. We have the box to the Elite Series. Now, Nike made this white box with the stripe for all of the Elite Series, especially those that came right before this product, um, the World Cup versions. And I actually had the Tiempo World Cup variation that I'll throw up on screen that were like an orange and purpley silver color. So it's got this awesome box and again, Nike football and it's got the size C TR360 Maestri Elite in the firm ground. Um, so we'll pull this out. It's got Nike football in white written right here. So, and the box is a little bit beat up as you would expect, honestly, from a 11 year old football boot. The inside of the box is absolutely pristine, but obviously with all the travel and some other stuff, the box on the outside is a little bit beat up, but that is okay, because to be honest, I'm gonna wear these boots, so I don't really care what the box looks like. And then you've got the Nike football, um, really cool touch there uh, with the Elite right here as well. So it says Nike football Elite, and then on this side, it's got the Elite Series right there. So super, super cool. Um, I love this box. I think it's so much better than the silver ones that they have now. But anyway, let us get to 
the unboxing. So in the box was actually these Classics Collection uh, pamphlets. I had asked that he include those in the box just so I could get some word out to you guys if you do want to purchase a pair of retro boots. He also really nicely put the Classics Collection uh, paper in the boot box as well. So instead of having all wrinkly stuff, he has brand new paper in there, which I thought was a great touch. So I've actually seen these in person because I opened them up and they are absolutely beautiful, but I will open them up on camera for you guys right there. Absolute stunners of a football boot. So I will take those out. Oh my goodness gracious. So there, we'll throw that right here. And I'll open up this one right here so you guys can take a look as I explain what else is in the box. In the bottom is the boot bag. I'll get this out of the way. And the boot bag is by far one of my, I obviously love the boots, but the boot bag is one of my favorite parts of the Elite series that Nike put out between like 2000. 10 to 2013, I believe, or 2014. I'm not, you'd have to fact check me on that one. But they have these string bags, string bags that they don't actually have string. You carry them like this and it's almost like a tote bag. I actually use mine for, actually one of my original videos was everything that I keep in my string bag for games. So tape and Tiger Balm and all sorts of that stuff. And this is the bag, it's got this great, you know, zipper pocket, and then you just throw the boots right in here. It's got the vented sides, and I'm actually really considering making my own version of this um, because I think this type of boot bag people actually can carry under their arm or carry with the handle and stuff, and they are way better. So I will definitely be carrying my boots in this boot bag because I think it's absolutely stunning. So 10 out of 10 for the boot bag already. They are starting off on a really good note. Now, these boots are absolutely stunning. I will throw those up and twist them around for you guys. I'll get some more shots of these that I'll throw over this video as well. But a couple things, um, we'll go into a couple facts and figures about this shoe before I hop into my own personal opinion about these shoes um, and the way that I see them in sort of today's boot uh, boot world, I guess, and we'll hop right into it. Okay, so as I mentioned before, they were released the 24th, 20th or 24th, somewhere in there, uh, depending if you were in Europe or the United States, but they were released uh, right around the the middle of the middle to end of the month in September of 2010. So these boots are almost 11 years old. Um, so the reason that these are special is because number one, they're 11 years old and they're in perfect brand new condition, but they also incorporated the carbon fiber sole plate, which was like the cool thing to have back then. Like if you had the carbon fiber sole plate on a pair of shoes in Seattle, Washington, where I played, you were pretty badass. Like that was a really cool thing, regardless of whether you had the Superflies, the Tiempos, the CTRs, um, or the Elite series of the T90. And I don't remember which generation it was back then, but I know what they look like. Um, I'll try to throw a picture of the World Cup variant that had the carbon fiber sole plate on it. But this carbon fiber sole plate is made the boot about 19% lighter. So overall, this boot was about 19, 20% lighter than the regular variant. And the regular variant had a normal stud plate on it. Um, it had like a plasticky uh, stud pattern and plate on the bottom. So that was sort of a, I guess, a change that they made to be a little more aggressive. Now, all of the studs on the bottom of this boot are bladed, as you can see. So they're just absolutely flat, a um, little bit curved edges, obviously, so it's not like sharp necessarily, but this is a pretty aggressive sole plate given the type of boot that this was advertised as, which was a control boot. So this was the likes of uh, Jack Wilshire, Cesc Fabregas, Iniesta. Those were the types of players who wore the CTR360 back then. Uh, Landon Donovan also wore the CTR360. And it incorporated the Kangalite. It was branded. You can see it right there. I don't know if you'll be able to catch it on camera, but um, the Kangalite was this 
sort of synthetic leather that felt like real leather and felt flexible and molded to your foot like real leather, but it didn't absorb water. So it made it the whole boot just an absolute joy to wear, especially um, that, because this technology was brand new. And this technology allowed players to go play with this type of sole plate on a softer ground and not worry about it getting really soggy and stuff like some of the old Tiempos or the Nike Premier, Copa Mundial, et cetera, et cetera. So that was a super cool innovation, and the Kangolite actually still exists in certain boots today, um, especially in the past, I would say, last five years, it's been heavily used in a lot of different boots. Um, but this, I think, is such a great example of the way that it was used. So as I mentioned before, it was advertised as a control boot. You've got these dampening pods on the front and basically what that was was just like inserted memory foam to make it feel like a dampened sensation as well as this direct inject TPU like pass pad and the idea behind this pass pad was just to make it uh, distribution of the ball really easy and passing the ball. Um, I'm not sure, it's sort of gimmicky and I don't know if it actually works that well. I did have a pair and I loved it so uh, I guess you can kind of do with that as you will but these boots are that's sort of sort of the technical specs um, they're about 240 grams so not crazy light necessarily but definitely lighter than even some boots today which is pretty cool for a boot that's 11 years old and has a beautiful carbon fiber sole plate on them so that's sort of the tech specs um, they ran about 300 dollars back then and that was that was pretty expensive, I think, especially for, um, but I guess it kind of made sense for the Elite Series because the carbon fiber was so expensive to produce. So that is sort of the tech specs of the boot. Now, if I were to get this boot in the mail as a modern football boot, I would say, I think Nike needs to make this a little bit lighter, especially in the upper. I think obviously the Kangolite can be improved, but the last, the fit, the sole plate, everything is such a special, like it's such a special boot. The lockdown in the heel is really good. The fit and feel on the ball is fantastic. It was such a good ball for passing, or such a good, excuse me, such a good boot for passing the ball. Um, and I just think these are spectacular. Obviously this is a unique boot review because I have actually worn these. I wore these sophomore year in high school back in 2011. So I had the colorway, a couple colorways after this one. Um, I had those boots, those white and yellow ones and absolutely love them, wore them into the ground, wore them until they broke. Um, one of the things that I will say that I think could be improved on this boot, um, so I think weight is one thing, if they made them a little bit less bulky, it'd be awesome. Um, but to be fair, for the time, this boot was actually really light, especially with the Elite Series. It made it really easy to feel like it, you didn't have much on your foot. Um, the one thing that I would say I would like to see improved would be the lacing system. So it was off center to give you a much better touch on the outside of your foot and a much more seamless touch on the outside of your foot, bigger surface or strike area. But what happened was they didn't make the lace, lacing system. So instead of, if you have a lacing system about that big, I'm just, I'm, I'm sort of making this up as an example, but if the lacing system's between my two fingers, and you put it over to the side like this, you basically take away the ability for you to pull the upper around your foot and lock, make sure your foot's locked in. So after a little while, I'd say after about eight or nine months of wear time in one of these boots, it got a little bit too loose because you were tying the laces completely tight and there wasn't any more room to get a deeper lacing system. And I think that's where this boot could be improved is to make this lacing system either go completely centrally and a little bit deeper, or you just make one side go a little bit deeper than the other and that's totally fine. So those would be the only critiques I have of this boot. <laughs> I am particularly excited about this, per this colorway because it is my brand colors. It is very, very similar to my personal brand colors as you see between um, you know, the first and second minute of every video, that brand that pops up with my logo on it and the shirts that I wear. Um, and all the merch stuff that will be coming to my website that you can check out, noahcavanaugh.com. So that's super exciting. And so these have always been 
kind of on my bucket list since 2010 and to be able to actually hold them in person and to, to own a pair of these. And yeah, they were a bit expensive. I'm not gonna say price necessarily because I want that to be a transaction between you and uh, Classics Collection, um, which you can find obviously online or on Instagram. Um, but price at this point with a boot like this in mint condition that is so beautiful really doesn't matter. Um, and I will say that until the end of the day, I am such a boot nerd and I absolutely love trying on new boots and wearing new boots and I think it's an absolute pleasure and an honor to have these. So thanks again to Classics Collection for these boots and let's hop into the on feet portion of the video where I'll compare these to modern boots, explain what they were like when I first tried them on back in 2011 and then how they compare obviously with the boots of today. So let's hop into that. All right fam, so I've got the CTR 360 Maestri Elite in hand, they are absolutely beautiful, just fantastic to look at. So we're gonna try them on on feet. I'm going to get the laces sorted out so that they are ready to go. Um, so these, uh, despite some of the other boot reviews that I've done, I've actually tried these on before. I've worn them for an entire season in high school back in 2011, I was a sophomore. Um, the clip of my the goal that I scored, fantastic goal that I scored, um, the volley was in the video pretty recently actually about the high school. So about two videos ago, I talked about high school and those were the boots you can notice in that clip that I showed talking about sophomore year, my second year in high school. Um, that was the year that I sort of started to take off as a soccer player and started to get much better than I was uh, the years prior and I was wearing these boots in the yellow and black colorway. So they are definitely, they have a special place in my heart. I love how these fit and feel on feet, but I have not tried them on in 11 years. So we will see how they compare to some of the modern stuff. So let's hop into them. I've got some grip socks on, um, just some light guard ones. Obviously there's a giant hole in them because I wore them for games and stuff when I was in Australia. But now that I'm back in the US, Brought them back with me because they are fantastic. Ooh, yeah, okay, so right away, these are super, super comfortable. I absolutely love how these fit and feel on feet. They're a wide last. Um, again, the one complaint that I did talk about before that I think might be something to think about is just how much room we have to pull the laces tight after they do get broken in. I'll tie them as tightly as possible just to get a sense of what's going on. Similar to, something to keep in mind, so these fit almost right to the end. Similar to the Magista line, the CTRs, which I obviously the Magistas were the replacement for the CTRs, you have to go a half size up. So these are actually a nine and a half US and they fit absolutely perfect. Um, they are just the right length and width, the CTRs, had a pretty decent width to them, especially with the sole plate. So those are the CTRs on feet. My goodness, they are comfortable. The heel is awesome. It really kind of hugs the back of your foot. I'll throw those up here. So that's what they look like. Just a fantastic pair of boots. Obviously, you guys know that I've got a broken foot right now, so I won't be jumping around, but I can definitely, uh, I'm trying to get all these boot reviews done pre-surgery so I can actually try them on on both feet so you can see what they look like. Um, and yeah, my goodness. So this is something that I didn't mention in the first part of the video, but when they made the carbon fiber sole plate, my understanding was that it was actually uh, a matter of trying to get the lightest possible boot as opposed to a carbon fiber sole plate like the X Ghosted Plus or the X Ghosted Point One for the sake of really springy and really uh, accentuated push off, if you will, something that actually enhances performance as opposed to enhance weight distribution across the boot. So this is just, the sole plate is really aggressive regardless of whether you're going lateral or, or forward. And it does, the sole plate is really stiff. It does snap back into place. So 
it does have a really, really nice feel to it. So if you can get a pair, pair of these, get your hands on a pair of these at some point, I would definitely recommend it. They are quite pricey, especially if they're brand new in the Elite variation because this was such a sought after boot. But uh, yeah, these are just incredible. I love the way these fit and feel. So that is it for the video, guys. Um, I really hope you enjoyed that review of the 360 Maestri Elite, the CTRs. And I am so thrilled to be able to have a pair of these. I will be cherishing them. I won't be wearing them that often, but I reckon in some games, I will definitely pull them out and definitely some training sessions and some individual sessions and stuff. So you'll see them around in the course of the channel as I recover from surgery and all that stuff. So that is it for the video, guys. Thanks so much for joining me. If you got value from this video and you like more boot review videos, drop a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Comment down below what boots you want to see next. And as always, be awesome. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.